right, guys, another day in the gym with the machine. This time I'm rolling solo. I'm riding solo. I'm riding solo. Okay, here I start out with leg extensions. Uh, the tripod angle, I just wanted you to get a kick of how much. Now, this is the full stack. As much weight as you can get, man. My legs are strong. Now, let me explain something before you all squat till you drop, deadlift till you die type people come into this conversation. Bottom line is, man, my lower back is tired, man. There's a drop set right there. I warmed up. I did four workup sets to this main set, and I did till I couldn't move anymore, made sure I went beyond failure. Now, I did not do squats. I'm not doing squats, nor am I doing deadlifts, nor am I doing straight leg deadlifts this week. Why? I've been training squats, deadlifts, and straight legs for, for four weeks straight, every single week. Going hard and heavy. Now it's time to back down. My back's starting to get a little tender, so I'm going good. Oh, there you ladies go. Notice that ass sweat. That means I'm training hard. Now you guys might might be thinking, man, this is not fair, Mark. Showing this kind of an angle of your ass when all these ladies are watching, they're sure to destroy some chairs with the moisture um, coming from them. There you go. It looks like I have a camel toe going on there. Anyway, <laughs> that's a bad angle. <laughs> I'm going to get some really interesting emails after this one. Anyway, I'm not going to cut it out. Man, I don't care. Anyway, there we go. Got um, Did six total sets of leg press. Here's hack squat. Um, I did one set with two plates. This is my second set with four plates. And I'm just going to go get a nice warm-up for my master set, which is going to be six plates per side. Now, since I'm not doing squats and I'm not doing any other moves like that, I did do lunges at the end of this workout. I didn't video it. But I made sure to do that there. I did a dead stop so you guys can't say I'm utilizing any bounce or anything. Um, here's the six plate set. Boom. I'm going to get eight of these. Now at the end of this workout, I am going to have a progress picture. This is the heaviest I've been at damn near, you know, hovering between 245 and 250 pounds. Um, my body fat is ridiculously low at around 7% for this weight. And um, I'm 27 weeks out from my show, guys. I encourage you. To hire John Otis Hollywood. I'll put his information below. John Otis Hollywood is my prep coach. And my prep update is it's amazing. I don't see anybody touching me in the entire world in conditioning at this show. I don't see being out conditioned. At this conditioning, 27 weeks out, a slow controlled ride through the um, prep. That's good. Now here another thing. Sorry, ladies. This is one big ass. You guys wouldn't realize I still I have a, stri a couple striations in those ass, in that big ass. So that's a big muscular ass right there. So, you know, I actually had some people hating on me in another video. Um, oh, these are great. This is great. Reverse hypers. Name another mainstream gym who has reverse hypers. I did three sets of these after doing three sets of leg curls with a money set at the end. Here's the deal. You can make fun of my arms. You know what? They're not. I agree. They're not up to par with my chest and my back. You can make fun of you can make fun of my uh, my calves. Hell, I make fun of my calves. So I'm covering them up right there. But Nobody really can make fun of my chest, my back, my lat, my lat width, or my ass. My ass is a force. Since I'm not doing squats, I want to do a squatting motion. Now, I'm going to do front squats here. I have, I believe, a plate or a plate and a quarter on the end. can't remember which set this is I filmed. But I'm going to go down. Now, you can't tell, but I'm actually coming down where my ass is literally touching my heels. Um, I'm on my tippy toes. This is something I used to do with my old training partner before he passed away. Lynn, big Lenny Mac, Lynn McAteer. Um, greatest guy I've ever known, but um, this is something we did. I then racked it when I'm done, and I hit some calves on this. Can't get enough calves, especially my little ass calves. But uh, I got to turn the baseball cap back around. At the end of this, I took one update picture. I didn't have a chance to do a video this week. Very busy weekend, and Van was out of town, so we didn't get to do our normal Sunday training session. But I am so excited about the conditioning, the veins, and everything I'm pulling. This is the final stretch. I'm showing some calf here. Actually, I'm pretty proud with the development I've had in my calves this year. Guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for following. There's going to be a pretty ad, but right now, look at this conditioning coming up. This is 27 weeks off of my show, guys. Ready? Here it is. Ready? And for 27 weeks out, man, I'm proud of this. Stay with me for the journey. It's going to be awesome. Contact John Otis Hollywood. Pretty ad. Peace out.